Franklin Kale is known as one of the fiercest players in the league, but as his wife tells us, he's definitely the opposite of the field. I am afraid of heights, but at least I've got my wife with me. I'm June Kale, wife of Franklin Kale. Um, I have to say thank you to Impo. They woke me up uh, very, very early. The alarm went off and I snoozed for another five minutes and the alarm went off again and I snoozed for another five minutes and I told Franklin, let's get up because otherwise we're going to be late. Very excited and I think she's more excited than me. Never having been on a hot air balloon before, the Kales got more anxious as they watched the team prepare for flight. The butterflies are kicking in now. I don't know if I'm more scared or excited, but let's see when I get on. I think it's going to be a lovely experience. I took him once to Goldie City and he only went on the Anaconda and he said he's finished for the rest of the day. So I'm quite surprised that he actually agreed. Because I had to beg him, please let go, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. He's like, my fro, my fro. So my fro is a foot, come please. <laughs> I think he's probably going to hold on to me very tight. And close his eyes all the time. <laughs> I know he's going to close his eyes all the time. The Kales were lucky enough to have the legendary Bill Harrops of Harrops Balloon Safaris pilot the trip himself. After a short safety briefing, it was time for takeoff. It's going to be more than this time. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> well, it's, it's a dream of many, many people. People aspire to go ballooning. You get a lot of people extremely interested in coming. That's the GPS. Is it the GPS? Yeah. Well, it just gives me uh, speed we're going and the direction and the height. Uh, I've got the other instruments here as well, but that's, that's an easier one to handle. But you've got to be able to use these instruments oh, okay. uh, as well, because if this fails, you've got to be able to handle it. The pilot, if he's skillful or lucky like I was this morning, guide the balloon where you're going to go by taking different heights, different winds, call them wind roads, and you use those wind roads to get to where you'd like to be. the days of GPS, sat-nav and radio communications, a hot air balloon pilot relied only on one traditional wind instrument, the speedometer. Ah, the speedometer. Yeah, well, we have what we call a speedometer. You want to see what the wind is doing below you. So um, you spit uh, gently over the side and watch which way it drifts. And then you'll know if you go down there, that's the way you're going to drift. Of course, yeah, there's other things. We can watch the smoke, we can watch shadows of clouds and that sort of thing. But with a speedometer, if you go down, you will always go in the expectorated direction. Why didn't we come, come in our honeymoon? Honeymoon, it's nice. It's it's really really yeah, it's a, nice it will be a good experience. I, I think what makes our relationship work is, is the friendship. We so compatible in many ways and and the way we understand each other I mean and we come from two different backgrounds I mean if you must know the backgrounds we come from people always thought that our relationship wouldn't work but you know we were friends we became friends and I always said you know the day when we get married I said we need to stay friends because friends can tell each other they share everything with each other and as long as we're gonna stay friends I think things will work I'm just a normal, regular guy, you know. Off the field, I'm actually most of the time with my wife and our daughter. We go out to movies on a regular basis, maybe go sit at a coffee place or maybe go play some games. I do play a big role in Casey's life. She also loves playing football. She wants to be a professional footballer. And I told her always that she must just be herself and go after the dream, you know. She's not actually a supporter of Franklin Kales is a big Ajax supporter and a Teco Modise fan. 
Having transferred from Ajax Cape Town a year ago, the Kales have had to adjust to life in the fast lane of Jersey. Tobuk is treating me well, it's just I miss the, the beach front, you know, the sea, sea view, that's all. If you want to know who packs the most powerful shot in the PSL, just ask national keeper Itimelen Kune. But just don't ask him to point, as Franklin Kale has already broken his fingers once with a powerful shot. Uh, it's just a normal thing, I think I grew up with it. You know, because when I was young, at a young age, I used to score goals from the halfway line. Soccer's a game, it doesn't always go your way. It's difficult and it is tough mentally. And when you do have down days, I tell him, you know, always think back and say to yourself, I've been there. Because the lifestyle in which he grew up in, he grew up in poverty. So I always remind him, look, you took yourself out of that and you put yourself in a better place. So don't think about it. Don't go back no matter what downfall you have. Just go forward. It just makes you a stronger person. It's every young footballer's dream to eventually compete in the big leagues. But even the ones who get there still have dreams beyond their achievements. My dream was to go overseas one day, play for my country, represent my country, which I did. I know there's still more in me to give to the country. For getting up in the wee hours of the morning and convincing our football star to fly in a basket, we set up a special breakfast to say thank you to Mrs. Kale and complete the experience. But because most men, let alone soccer players, are not the biggest romantics in the world, Sky's the Limit called in an expert to put together something special and give our viewers some helpful hints. I think, I think the problem is we, we get so wrapped up in our minds what, what's going to look good and then we end up doing it over the top. Whereas just doing simple things will actually turn out the best. And use the colours around you. That's the most important thing. If you generally if you like it, then she'll like it. And and usually it's more about the effort that you put in. Looks like. So even if it looks terrible, if she's smiling then you've done well. The experience was overwhelming. It was wonderful, it was fantastic. The views were spectacular. It reminded me of Kaitan so much and I think for a moment there I wanted to cry because I miss Kaitan. It was so quiet away from the hustle and bustle in Johannesburg. It was so, so tranquil. Well, I'm, I'm actually happy for myself I did it. The day went off well. And thank you Sundowns for making this day possible. And thanks, 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 thanks a lot. Sky's the limit.